You, you might know that a couple of years ago, there was actually an attempt, and it was a pathetic one, to get some new kids together and call them the new monkeys, and the show crashed and burned. And the reason it did, uh, by all accounts, is that you just can't top the original. Despite being a prefab band in the vein of the Beatles, the Monkees were incredibly popular in the 1960s, and they became very popular again in the mid-1980s in 1985 when Nickelodeon, MTV, and hundreds of local UHF stations began airing reruns of the short-lived Monkees television series. Children everywhere started to love the Monkees to the point where they even reunited, minus Mike Nesmith, my favorite monkey, and put out a new record. But corporate America said, no, we can do better. We can get new young monkeys. In fact, let's call it the new monkeys. My name is Helen, and I live with these four rock stars in a house you're just never going to believe. And so they hunted far and wide for new monkeys, and then they found them. Some 3,500 young hopefuls auditioned for the roles, and uh, we have the final four. Jared Chandler, Marty Ross, Larry Saltis, and Dino Kovas. Did I get all the names right? Uh -huh. yep. All right. right. Yeah. Okay. Keep in mind, this was a big trend in the 80s where we had a lot of new shows. We had the new Addams Family, the new Monsters, the new Leave it to Beaver, the new Gidget, the new Lassie, the new Mutants. I know that's not really appropriate for that list, but I just really liked the New Mutants and I wanted to mention them. Anyway, so the New Monkeys debuted in 1987 with a brand new TV show, in fact, 35 years ago this very week, and with a new album. And I have to say, I love the New Monkeys. Hi! 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 We're New Monkeys! Right you are, Larry! Now, the old monkeys did not love the New Monkeys. We wish everybody every success in the world. We yes, have no we complaint with anybody. And they should get real good lawyers. They should get real good lawyers. And for some reason, Davy Jones especially had a problem with the new monkeys. Yeah, what did you think when those uh, new monkeys came along? <laughs> oh, I thought we should go after their families. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. To the point where Davy Jones got kind of tough guy, which is hilarious. Side note, Davy Jones, my least favorite monkey. Musical theater kid, didn't play an instrument, total company man. Not my favorite. Although the best thing he did was guest star in the Brady Bunch movie. Anyway, people hated the new monkeys. And I have to say the show was great. The album is very good. It's kind of a lost power pop classic. There's some great songs on here. The show was in the spirit of the monkeys, but also incorporated very 80s, very new, very weird MTV things. Romeo sisters. I think I better go milk the goat. You mean you're the chicks that wrote us that letter? It's a dream. It's just a bad Hollywood dream. And an influence of the young ones. It's a fun, anarchic show that manages to capture the spirit of the monkeys in the original series without being a total ripoff. Hey, you guys are all black and white. Is this really a good idea? <laughs> But nobody saw it that way. It lasted one season. Everybody hated it. And I'm happy to say, even though there's only one living monkey left, the hatchet had been buried because Mickey Dolans did perform with the new monkeys, and so all is right in the world again. I nearly broke 